We are ready to bring New York City back fully on July 1st. All systems go. Breaking news, a big step on the road to reopening as Mayor de Blasio looks to a new normal. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Raggi, now on CBS2 and streaming on CBSN New York. We begin with that breaking news, the mayor's announcement to fully reopen New York City this summer. CBS2's Andrea Grimes live on the Upper East Side with more. Andrea. Chris, Mayor de Blasio says this proves there is light at the end of this COVID tunnel, but important to note, this is his goal. It is not 100% set in stone. This is going to be an amazing summer. And I can't tell you, I uh, just, I am so excited. A jubilant Mayor de Blasio announcing he hopes to end all remaining COVID restrictions in the five boroughs come July 1st. It means we get to go back to so many of the things we love. It means so many jobs get to come back and soon. The mayor's plan includes fully 100% reopening restaurants and bars, stores, shops and small businesses, hair salons and barber shops, gyms and fitness classes, arenas and stadiums, theaters, music halls and museums. We now can set this goal because we've been moving forward constantly, more and more vaccinations. Fewer and fewer infections, thank God. We asked the mayor if he spoke with Governor Cuomo since many of the restrictions still in place come down from the state. I have not, and I think the best way to proceed here is to set out the city's vision. Uh, we're going to work with the federal government. We're going to work with the state government. In March, the state legislature voted to end Cuomo's executive powers, which Democrats say ended his ability to make unilateral decisions on COVID restrictions. But Republicans say doesn't go far enough. Well, Governor Cuomo, as we speak, is at an event here in New York State. We are waiting for the Q&A portion of it, so we hope to have more information on what he thinks about the mayor's goal later today. And also, we'll find out what state lawmakers have to say as well. For now, reporting live on the Upper East Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thank you.